Welcome to Trading Lounge and the S&P 500 for the 12th of July, starting on the daily chart here. Um, as you know, I've got a couple of counts, um, both just as valid. Um, so from wave four here, we can have one, two, three, four, five here um, for five of five and finish there. Or we can come up all the way up here and this particular wave, these five waves here, make um, wave one here and wave two here. So um, it doesn't really matter in, in terms of trading for the moment because once this, once this last structure here is finished, then um, we're going to get a turn in the market anyway. So I'm just going to go straight to the... I'll just go straight to the hourly chart because all our action's up into this space here. So, yeah, I'll just open this up a little bit. What we have been doing through here is that um, from wave four here, we've been going up from wave four. We're looking at wave one and two here and then all the way up here for wave three and four here and then up looking for five waves up for wave five here. So we don't need these here anymore. So we're very close to a top here now. Um, we've traded this little section. We didn't trade this little section here, but um, we can see here that we've got wave one, two, three, four, five. So I can just copy these here for one, two, three, four, and five. Should give us a new high here, and that will make wave five of five of five. It could be any one, any one of these. To here, uh, top here. So I'm not that I'm not that concerned about that, you know. So um, uh, making money is important, more important than being right or wrong. So um, here we can expect a little move up. How far will it go? Well, if we look at um, wave three with the extension in it, then wave one here and wave five will maybe roughly the same. So maybe um, 3,010, somewhere around there. But obviously depends on what's going on as well. But it's, in a nutshell, we should see some sort of ABC correction coming in at that point. Um, as I've mentioned here before, that... Um, this is the pa this is the pattern that we're looking for at the top. This is what normally happens, and we call it the classic trading levels pattern, where we have the arrival, the reaction, so the arrival, the reaction, and then five waves up here for the first high above the level, and this is what we're seeing here. Um, and yeah, look, it may go above the three ten here. Um, Friday is normally the bullish day, so um, if it's not the bullish day, it closes. If it moves up here and then closes lower, then we know that we've got a change in trend because Friday is not closing on strong volume. Um, because if it closes on strong volume, then it can follow through on the Monday. Um, just on the tick chart here. Um, we were tracking last time we spoke here of wave three, the A, the B, five waves for wave four here. That was all cool. And then the last time we spoke, we we're looking at five little waves up here and we we're looking for a um, pullback into wave two here to the 61.8%. Um, and... Um, and then wave three to the upside. So when I spoke to you last time, we we're looking for a move straight up to 3,000 and then a reaction from there looking for wave four. The wave four has got rather complicated here. And I could also say too that um, it's probably not likely, but it's, 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 it could be that, um, see this little move up, this little move here is in five waves and we can look at that as a C wave, that's cool. This little move up, here is just three waves so far. I mean, we are looking for a top to come you know, above wave three here, but it doesn't have to in Elliott. All it needs to do is have five waves. So we could look at this um, flat correction here as, uh, as an ABC here for, the, for wave four, then wave one and two here, and then one, two, three, four, and five up here for, for the fifth wave. So it's possible, probably not, but the fifth wave can be sitting um, uh, here. As such but I don't think it's the case but either way what in, in in terms of the safe trade short here we can go short under here now 
Okay. Um, we can get a better position than that, of course, but um, yeah, this, um, I mean, this one, two, three, four, and five here, that could just be wave one, then back for wave two, then three, then four, and then five as well. So we could actually go a little bit higher here. Let me just measure a few things up uh, here. Just using a rough stick. So we're way high. So definitely wave three's got the thing in it. But this would be roughly um, the, the length of wave one. So we'll just stay with that 310. I mean, one is the strongest number in the market, according to me. And five is the second strongest number. So this one here is really going to play out uh, here. Um, but yeah, there we go with that. Um, and then we start to look into the corrective side of the market after this, after this high here. So I'll just leave it at that. I mean, I don't really think we can sort of add much to this at this stage. Um, what we can do is we can put the short trade in here. So if I can just borrow this here. So we can go short under here. You can get a better position than that though, um, here. You could probably even put it up under low of wave two there as well to add to that. But yeah, um, you want to short when the market moves up here um, and then fails to hold up here. Uh, it will come back here and it'll bounce off it'll bounce off here so we're looking let's just draw this out so we're looking for one and two and three and four and five here coming up into this space and it may pull back this is what you've got to be mindful of it could pull back 61.8 percent say just below the 3000 and then move up from that point have five waves up here but i'm thinking that this would be the top at this point based on the length of wave one and three and five and so on so when it does come down through to here it will bounce back off here then it will come down here once it locks under there with the first low below the level then that becomes your reference point low and then that retest there if you look on the cash or the futures market that should be on less volume than this move down if that's on less volume than this one coming down here then um then that's divergence and the indicators will show you that but um just reading price and volume is much better but it's, it's, yeah um <laughs> indicators have got their own interpretations as well so um and then come down from that point and then build in in the trade so um let's see how we go with that i mean of course you can go long here above these to go up there for, for a bit of a quick trade but um yeah otherwise we, we should be pulling back let's just have a little look at this on the four hour chart let's get rid of some of this Let's take it to the 10, but you can adjust that later. So this is where we can be coming back to at this stage in this space here. But don't short it unless the 3000 has become the retested resistance and make sure because we're trading against the trend, have a smaller position size and also build into the trend to the downside if that's going to occur as well. So what we're looking for here in just in the vision, we want that retest to go on. Um, if that retest is in three waves here, then you can you know draw a line through it that way and move in. But you want that you want that move below that retest there, um, and then moving up from that point, uh, lower, lower, moving in lower from that particular point. Um, you just need a few elements on your side to shift the weight of probability onto your side. So being under this number to start with, seeing seeing the reference point low here, the retest on lower volume, they're enough to get you going on the on the short side if you're looking for the turn. If you short it up here, well then you got you've, you've got too many things against you at that particular point. Um, you could get it right, and you know the money's in the turn, but so is the risk. Alrighty, thanks for tuning in. Cheers.